What's up guys, Sila here with another guide for you. This is going to be a guide on XSplit, so it's going to be a guide on how to stream, what program I use, how to set it up. Because of recent, a lot of people have been asking me how to get into streaming, what I use, what settings I use. So I thought I'd do a quick guide to cover it. So I use the program called XSplit. It's currently a free program to get. If you go to the website, there'll be a link below. You'll need to make an account and download it. Once you've got it all set up and installed, it'll be free as I said for now, but it's currently in beta. As soon as it's finished beta, then you're gonna have to pay for it. At the moment, it's $40 for two years. So depending on how much you wanna get into streaming, it could be worth it, it's not that much really. And you'll have the license for two years. So I'm gonna show you how to set it up from basics. So this is what it'd look like normally. You'd have the screen, let me make this a bit bigger. Have the screen like this, and it'd show you everything that you need to see. But we're going to start it from scratch. So first of all, you want to add the region of what you want to stream. So there's two ways you can do this. Click Add. Click Add Screen Region. And you can highlight sort of a section you want to put in. So we'll highlight that. And you could just stream templates. Why not? Or if you want to add the whole screen, just simply click. Don't drag. Just click. And it will get the whole of your screen on. Now once that's there, you want to put your mouse in the bottom corner and drag it so it fills the whole of the XSplit screen like that. If you have it like this, there's going to be black bars, and if you try and drag it into the middle, there's going to be a massive black box. So you want to make sure that it's nice and done, and there's no, no black. Now next up, I usually add a media file just to cover... <laughs> just to cover my stuff. So what we usually do is I'll get an image second let me just get a, an image if I can find one where is it one sec sorry there we go so I usually get an image to cover my chat which is my image and I'll scale that down to size so to do that we go to add media file and you just pick the image that you want to use now you can add all sorts of things like you can add text so I could get this to say like hello guys I are Sila. Blah, 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 blah. And then that'll pop up on the screen. You'll have to resize it and stuff. And you can change the colours. You can also get it to scroll, which I'll show you now as well. So if we've got that then you've got a bit too much text, so it's not all showing. We can quickly edit that. And if you click on scrolling and whatever speed you want it to go at. It'll scroll. Like that. So that's a cool little thing to know. Okay, so next we need to know to set it up. So if you click on view and you want to set a resolution, now this all depends on your internet speed. If you're on about a 4 to 8 megabyte connection, upload, upload, then you want to set it on around a 10, uh, 1280 by 720, that's 720p HD. This is what I stream at because I'm on a 6 megabyte upload. If you're on sort of a 6 to plus upload, then I try and stream on 1080p, which is 1920 by 1080. So that'd be that. But that requires a good PC and good upload speed. Now, if you've not really got a good PC or a good upload speed, you've got kind of 1 to 3 to 4 megabytes, then try this option. This is what I used to stream at, and that's 1088 by 612. Now, if that's not on your list, you can click Edit Resolutions, and it'll have this big, massive list, and you just want to find the 1088 by 612. So there's somewhere. There we go. And just put a tick in the box, and then click Apply and click OK. And that will now be on your resolutions list. Like so. Now, that's not HD resolution, but it is widescreen. It's a 16 by 9, and it's the closest you'll get to sort of HD. Once you've done that, you want to set your frame rate. Now, I stream at 20 FPS. 20 FPS seems good. Anything between 25 and 20 seems sort of the good point. Anything past that, you don't really tell any difference, and it kind of just it goes choppy and laggy. If you've got a beast of a PC, you can drive 30 or above if you're streaming like an FPS, but for general gaming, I don't really have it that high. Now, one thing that I found out was if you go to scale viewport and turn this down when you're not sort of, you don't need to edit this window, then it, it will reduce the CPU usage it's using. So if you look at the moment, uh, XSplit is using 
it's not using that much because it's not active, but yeah, it's it's using a bit. Now if we scale it down, it'll use even less because it's it's out of the way. It's gone up, but yeah, it does use less. <laughs> okay, okay. Believe me. So next we need to add somewhere to stream to. So you want to click edit channels, or it may say add channels if you've got a brand new one. And it may bring you to this. Then you want to click add or set it up. Now you want to use custom RTMP if it's like a different place, like if it's YouTube streaming. But most of you are going to be streaming on Twitch TV, so we'll go with this one. You want to put in your username, so that'll be like Sila. You want to put in your password. I like ponies, like that. Set up your channel. You put your channel name in there. Um, and then you want to put your location. So I'm closest to London, so I'd put London Primary down. Now, not all streaming sites have this option, but Twitch.tv does. So this preset. Now, preset takes a lot of messing around with, but basically... The slower you put it, the more it will use your CPU. So I have a decent CPU, so I set it to fast, so it uses more CPU instead of the internet side, which means it, it ends up slightly less chopper. But have a play around with this, see if you can get your quality any better. Don't put it on like slow or slower because it just crashes XSplit. You can try it, but it'll crash XSplit and you'll need to change it. You'll try and start up your stream and it'll just do nothing. So you have to close it, reopen it, and turn it down. So I'd start off at kind of ultra fast, or maybe fast, and go up or down, depending on how it's going for you. And just have a play around. Streaming takes a lot of playing around. So this basically is 1,000 kilobytes is equal to around 1 megabyte upload. You never want to set it to all your upload. You want to give yourself sort of 1 or 2 megabyte free. So I usually set mine to 3,500 max and 3000 normal and that's bloody changed because a twitch admin came in and said don't put it past 3.5 because there's a problem with that or something along those lines if you're streaming at 1080p you probably want to go a lot higher than that and go to sort of 5000 5, uh, 5, to 6000 but yeah 3500 seems a good point for me on a 6 megabyte and I put my quality up to 8 apparently if you put it to not set it'll set itself to the best quality it thinks you should have but I put mine on 8 and this you don't really want to change you just want to leave it on default stage resolution so for audio we're going to put it on 44k and I'll usually leave the bitrate as it is and you want to put it on stereo as well and that's it you don't really want it to automatically record because Twitch records anyway and you want to save that although I can't save it because it's not legit now after that you've got all that saved and set up you want to go to general and you want to make sure it's using the right microphone I don't know if you want to put a sound detection on mine doesn't really work too well because I tried setting it up so that it turns off when I'm not speaking but I couldn't really get it to work and I don't change any of this I just leave that to whatever it's doing and that's all okay you can set the recording location if you really want stuff like that but yeah, you can set hotkeys to change scenes as well, and I'll quickly show you what scenes are. So, say for example, you want to quickly hide your camera, which as I do, I can just set it to scene two, and it'll just quickly hide my screen. So if I'm putting in my username and password to WoW or whatever, I can just click quickly click scene two, and it's gone. And I can click it back, and it's back. So to set this up, you just click scene two, and we do just do what we did before: add media and it'll put your image on and you just need to scale it to size you can put a little message on if you message on if you want just saying like one sec guys like that and I'll just be like one sec guys simple as that and that's pretty much it that's all the things I use and do for streaming on Twitch. So I hope this guide's helped you out. I hope you now have some sort of insight into what you're doing and you'll be able to stream. And yeah, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a question below. Don't forget to like, fave, and subscribe and look out for more guides coming soon. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.